Hello and welcome to Shep Rambles, where I am Shep and I tend to ramble about what? Anything and everything. And today it's going to be about Google, also known as Alphabet. That's the name of the company that is Google, is Alphabet. Um, well, apparently the European Union is suing them uh, for an antitrust uh situation so basically and this uh, article is coming from CNBC and um, I'll link this and there's another article I'll, I'll link in the uh, description I just came across this because I was watching the market and I just noticed it was taking a hit and I'm pretty sure this has something to do with it um, because the the text uh, really either they have a lot of influence on the market. Um, if the techs are going down, the market tends to struggle. And so and we'll just take a look at that. But um, yeah, so apparently the European Union is, is suing them. And as a result, Google is saying that, well, we may not be able to give away Android for free anymore because of this. So this is uh, July 18th. And they're saying, okay, so... So far, the Android business model has meant that we haven't had to charge phone makers for our uh, technology, um, says the CEO. But we are concerned that today's decision will upset the careful balance that we have struck with Android and that it sends a troubling signal in favor of proprietary systems over open platforms. And so right now, device makers are able to use and modify the open source Android operating system. But the European Union is saying that Google violated antitrust rules by requiring Android device makers to bundle its apps like Chrome and Gmail, which harms competition. And they fined uh, Alphabet five, just over $5 billion and threatened additional fines of up to 5% um, of their global business if it does not end its bundling practices. And the CEO said that some of the apps pre-installed on Android devices generate revenue for the company, but also argued that they are to help ensure the phone just works right out of the box. The statement also says that the pre-installed apps are easy to, to remove and replace with alternatives. However, uh, the European Union claims that bundling practice is a particularly big problem because of Android's dominance among mobile operating systems. Derilling says that excluding China, Android accounts for 95% of the market. Um, now here's my, my thing on it. Is, um, and this, this is briefly talked about in the next article that I'll show, but uh, where's Apple? I mean, it's not like, I mean, Apple bundles their phone with their own uh, web browser. So what the where's you know where's the competition there? Where's the lawsuit against Apple? Why is it against Android? I get it. I I mean I know where the European Union is coming from because this is an old debate that came up with Microsoft because Microsoft was uh, with their uh, Windows operating system they were including um, Internet Explorer. Why? So people could just go into their computer and just open it up, not have to fuss with it. But the option is there to put another uh, to, to put another well, you could put another operating system, but there the option is there to put another web browser if you want. Me, I've got Internet Explorer, I've got Chrome, and I've got uh, Firefox, and I use all three. I usually use Chrome first. What Chrome gives me a problem with, I use Firefox, and if they both have a problem, that's where I use Internet Explorer. Um, and I highly recommend that you have all three of those. Now, for those of you that are with Apple, I'm not sure what to tell you. <laughs> all I know is I've used Safari, and I think it's a piece of junk. Um, that's just my opinion, though. I just haven't had the greatest experience with it, and I 
really don't care to even revisit it anymore. Between Chrome, Firefox, and Internet Explorer, I've I've got enough, so I'm I'm fine. I don't need any more than that. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you don't, I mean, not a whole lot of people are computer savvy. You give them a phone, and it's like, oh, you can get on the internet. Great. What do I do? You know, I mean, aren't you? I mean, you're going to want some type of browser on there so that way you can go get the things that you want. So. I don't know. I mean, like, where do you draw the line? It's like, oh, well, you can't bundle this with Android because, uh, you know, this web browser. Well, then, you know, what's to stop them from saying, well, you can't uh, install this game uh, with with your Android operating system because that's uh, suggesting that, oh, these other games aren't going to have, you know, the 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 chance to be able to you know play I mean it's it it's stupid it's really stupid so you 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 get a phone you get a device computer whatever and it has some basic basic stuff on there that you need to to get going if you want something else well then you can go and and get that but but to uh, suggest that um, that you get a phone or a computer that doesn't have these things. And for someone who's not very tech savvy and doesn't know what, you know, what to do or where to go, I mean, you're doing more of a disservice than, than a service, but I don't know. That is, that's just my take on it. Um, here is the other, other article, which I was going through here. Okay, so Google hit with $5 billion fine. Um, the uh, Alphabet slash Google says they're going to be appealing the fine. There's a video here. You can check it out. Um, Today's decision rejects the business model that supports Android, which has created more choice for everyone, not less. I agree. Between Apple and Android, you have a lot more choices with Android to do to do and install what you want on the phone. With Apple, you have to do it their way, through their store. Um... Yeah, so this the whole situation is just dumb. It's I'm thinking the European Union just want needs more money or something. So, oh, what else was there? There's something. Oh, it's not on here. There was something on here in regards to. Um, <laughs> oh, here it is. So I have another. I have another. Yeah, there's another thing here. Um, President Trump was saying that this $5 billion fine is proof that the U.S. is being taken advantage of. I mean, say what you want about Trump, okay, but guys, right. I mean, people have been taking advantage of the United States. And he's just the only one that's actually been standing up against the crap. So, I mean... I'll say what you want, but he's trying to do what he can for America. I don't want to ter- make this into a political thing. But anyway, um, so I saw this and then and then there's this whole thing where, okay, well, it's not going to be free anymore. And then there's this one here. So I'll link all three articles. But um Google has $105 billion in net cash on its balance sheet, so um, after this fine, Google will have $100 billion, so it still has a lot. So, you know, it, it seems to me like the European Union is just like, oh, you have plenty of money, why don't you give us some? Well, let's come up with a reason. Um, they've already hit them with a $2.7 billion penalty last year, which has to do saying that... Uh, Google was skewing search results, and they claimed that it did so to benefit its own shopping search service versus those of those rivals. Well, that there sounds like a legitimate fine. It's kind of like, you know, hey, we're benefiting our own thing and not those of our rivals, so okay. But this other thing, I don't know. 
Anyways, the European Union has given them 90 days to stop what it calls illegal practices on contracts with handset manufacturers that push Google services in front of users. Well, what does Apple do? Well, I don't think Apple pushes non-Apple products in front of users. Right here, the guy's saying this decision ignores the fact that Android phones compete with Apple, something that 89% of respondents to the Commission's own market survey confirmed. It also misses just how much choice Android provides to thousands of phone makers and mobile network operators who build and sell Android devices. Um, did Google bully smartphone makers? Um, European regulators think that Google has forced smartphone makers to pre-install its suite of apps in order to gain access to the Google Play Store. From a debundling impact perspective on the business, we expect minimal impact as the consumer is likely to just simply download the apps for Google's services if and when they get new Android phones, much as they already do when they get a new Apple iPhone. So yeah, I totally agree with that. Um, how is it affecting uh, the market? Well, here you go. So this is today. Um, it started, it jumped up really high and then it just started to fall. I guess it's not doing too bad. It, it looks bad if you're looking at this up here, but it actually started here for today. So about 12.06, it's at 12.02. So it's only like down maybe $4 a share. So it's not hit too hard. Um, I mean, it's been going it's been going up, and this is this was in January before the market took that big nosedive, and it's setting a new record high. So for investors, I mean, it looks like you're doing okay. I mean, who's to say with with this fall here? I don't know what's gonna you know. It's now got to that point. I mean, is it safe to continue investing in Alphabet, or should you like wait for the next big dip? You know, it just almost seems like. Hey, we're back where we were. What's going to happen? I don't know. Um, but as far as the... I always look at SPY. But here is the... You know, the overall market is down. Kind of. That's not down by too much. Started at 280. It's at 280.50. Oh, no. Previous close is 281. So, yeah. We're sitting... This was yesterday, and this is where we're sitting at. Um, but if we were to look at, I don't know, let's see, Facebook. See, Facebook is down. If you look at the FANG stocks, which is uh, Facebook, Apple. That's Apple. Okay, Apple's doing okay. They're doing okay today. Um, let's see, Fang. It's Facebook, Apple, Amazon, AMZN, I believe. So they're kind of hurting a little bit today. I believe it's NVIDIA. So it's kind of half and half. That's why the um, S and P is kind of stagnant today. It's like it's it's lower, but it's not too low. You've got a couple of tech things that are that are in the greens and other ones that are in the red. So it's kind of both ways. But you can see how that happens to how this happens to affect the uh, the market as a whole. I mean. It's amazing, but you know, you look at some other stocks, and you know they'll they'll be taking a hit of some sort or another. Uh, let's see, like that's McDonald's. I thought that was Intel. That's not Intel. <laughs> oh, INTC. Okay, so yeah, see, they're taking a hit today. What are some other ones? Microsoft. There it goes, finally. So see, there, it's weird, but it's like when some of the heavy hitters get hit, it seems to take the market with them. Not all of it, but you know, a good portion of it. I mean, the, the fangs are 
big influences on the market. So, but anyway, um, that's really all I got about this. Um, I'm curious to know what you think. Uh, do you think the European Union is right? Do you think that uh, uh, Google is just taking advantage of their their dominance in the market? That oh, you got you know you've got a Android phone and we're going to provide you know Google services on there, even though you have the option to get something else. Do you do you do you support the European Union or do you think it's ridiculous? How do you think it relates to Apple? Do you think it's okay for Apple to do what it's doing and not offer um, alternatives? Let me know. Comments down below. And uh, as always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed my rambling videos, well, then I hope you enjoy these. I make these from time to time on a variety of topics, depending on what inspires me. Hope to see you around, and thanks for watching.